Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Rise of the Phoenix. A twist on our Lands of Ice challenge in our Age of Ice that has now become the Age of Fire. We are going to continue right where we left off last time so that we can see the rise of hopefully a new generation of heat-bodied children on this island. But if you need to understand what has been going on and the amazing twist to our little Ice Age challenge, definitely check out the previous episodes or look in the video description for a link to our niche wiki and we are going to carry on with flame now taking his mother's place as leader of the tribe now that phoenix has passed and flame would not question his mother's intentions whatsoever she rose as a powerful leader she took control of the tribe and she laid down very strict laws and hierarchies for how we will have the phoenix class the noble class and the servant class of nicheling until we are able to become powerful phoenixes guardians of all nichelings in need and leave this island but before we can become guardians we must we must be somewhat ruthless and we must remain focused on our task of having the powerful phoenix children which is going to be very interesting because we haven't even seen a winged nicheling yet so she dreams of wings since she is the was the daughter and that makes flame the granddaughter of mafic the volcano god uh, she dreams of rising into the air the way that lava can erupt but uh, i mean i don't know if we've ever even seen a wing in the entire ice age challenge so it must have been some very special vision that she had all right but flame is rising up to this challenge he is uh, he is a little overheated because he has big body ironically he doesn't even have heat body but hopefully his mate honey who is indeed blind will be able to uh to have some healthy children and they will be able to start populating the land with many heat bodied little ones but let's actually have him He's going to have to lead her around. There we go. He's going to have to lead her around the grass. Oh gosh, and she just literally had a food delivery to the nest. Well, that's pleasant. Uh, and Flame is going to sit over here and pluck from this tree so that he can stay by his beautiful blind mate's side. They grew up together and they really do have quite the bond that I admire quite a bit. So I'm hoping their children will be strong, they will be healthy, and they will be able to rise from the ashes and really create a powerful tribe. And speaking of children, Rico received permission from the Phoenix leader to go ahead and have the children that she desires with the two nichelings who smell fantastic to her since they have opposite immunity genes, Kikar and Rota. And she has her choice of both of them. Kikar is kind of a, a servant class of nicheling except for the fact that he does have the heat body so he does have kind of an emerald glow around his heart they call it the emerald heart uh, when you are not heat bodied but you carry the possibility for your children to be the other heat body nichelings of the phoenix line can see and so kikar as a result is noble class even though he doesn't display any of the noble class genes and Rota is noble class because he has hammer tail and recessive purse out. So I think the first one that uh, Rico would go for is probably Rota. So we're going to pop down and I think she's going to perhaps compliment him on his excellent berry picking skills and perhaps say something very sweetly with her, her little purr. Let's see. Oh, and maybe she can here. We'll lick him to remove the stench. Uh, as a way of flirting and will perhaps purr sweetly and it didn't work he didn't really know what's going on uh rota well maybe you can catch on uh, offer uh, suggest that you shall offer her the finest picking from all of the stinky fruits that you could collect rota it didn't work uh well maybe she's not into stinky fruit hmm tell her that she has a beautiful purr and that he is quite impressed by the sound that he heard when she was calling out on the tree trunk, trying to convince nichelings to leave the ice flows and swim on to Whale Island. It worked! Alright, she likes to be complimented on the sound of her purr. Noted. You better take notes, Kikar. Alright, meanwhile, Kikar is jumping the island, and I think since we don't have any nichelings who can harvest these bushes yet, better to just go ahead and pluck them and allow them to regrow. We're so busy with the stinky fruit trees. 
uh, harvesting continually from these bushes should be fine. And also on this side, we're going to have Makri clear out some of the grass that is in uh, kind of inconvenient locations, definitely around the fruit trees now that I'm looking at it. So we'll get him settled near the fruit trees and we'll start having him clear that out since only heat bodied nichelings can remove grass. Uh, they use their powerful claws, they heat up their body and their claws become fiery hot and that allows them to cut through like a scythe all of the tough grass that has adapted to the ice age climate and refuses to let any other nichelings tear it apart so very useful very useful indeed and then finally rose and kira here have been given the task of trying to call out and see if they can attract the attention and i think rose is is somewhat uh, reverently, but also somewhat uh, irreverently stepping on Phoenix's bones because she was almost sacrificed because of her illness. So she hopes to live long enough to leave a legacy of power greater than that of even Phoenix's behind. I think that's her secret desire. So I think she has no problem stealing Phoenix's spot. Whew. All right, but let's see what happens. Okay, I think we've attracted some attention. We've attracted some attention, and according to this challenge, only nichelings who display prehistoric genes can attack Berina. Well, lucky duck us, we have Honey right here, who's heavily pregnant, and we also have uh, Rota here, who has hammer tail. Uh, we've got two others who display genes over here, but I don't think they could make it in time. Uh, especially because they're sickly. So, Makri, I need you to clear the grass away so that we can possibly make it to that spot. Rico, I think you're going to wander away. Or is she just going to make a nest? I think Rico might just go ahead and get comfy. She didn't hear the growling. She was so distracted with showing off her purring to her new mate. And she has the pick of the litter because she could also choose Kikar as a mate. So she didn't hear that growling and is quite content to set up shop right here and eat the entire berry bush to satisfy her pregnancy cravings. And then unfortunately, Kikar here does not display any of the prehistoric genes so he cannot be involved in this fight so we're gonna get him to just kind of loop around the back because he heard something and he's trying to see what it was also i am destroying the toxic berry bushes but we will leave these ones over here as the shadowed glade uh where sickly nichelings will have to eat those or i think there were like a couple back here maybe man this will really needs somebody to come and clear all the grass off his tail uh, okay, I think I destroyed most of them, but we will leave these ones as the shadowed glade for sickly nichelings. All right, well, Honey wanted to have a baby right now, but she is, unfortunately, the only one capable of attacking this Berina right now. Since she is the only one present, other than Rota, Rota, you scooch over, come on. Move it, buddy. You get over here too. Only these two, or Rose, or... Kira could actually attack the Berina. So let's do this. All right, was that enough? No, and now he is facing the pregnant honey. Oh, travesty. Oh, Flame. I don't think Flame knows what to do. I think he he's quite irritated, like kicking the, the bundle meat out of the way. Suddenly they have an abundance of food, but what point is that if his mate honey is being attacked? Not good, not good. Also, that was a convenient delivery of food on this side. And then Kira is going to continue to do her job. She's very far away from the rest, so I think she would just go ahead and continue to call. <gasps> oh my gosh! Well, a bat-winged phoenix would be something. And she has successfully attracted a new nichling, Misko, who has short-sighted eyes, recessive bird beak, female peacock tail, albinism recessive. Oh, that's a good thing for this tribe. And one bat wing. What? Welcome. Welcome to the tribe. We have now unlocked Batwing. I guess we could have Batwinged Phoenixes. There's heavy irony there. But Masiko is, uh, because she, she does have female peacock tail, 
but she doesn't display bird beak or heat body or any of the prehistoric genes, so she is now a servant class of Nishling, who has staggered her way over, exhausted from her travels across an ice flow, and she has now come to join this tribe as a servant. She does, however, have female peacock tail and some very important new genes, so... I and B, F and A, she may very well end up the mate of Flame. We will have to see. We will definitely have to see. She could be a Makri's mate as well. Uh, and we might make that happen so that she will definitely have children who have heat body one way or another. Uh, but welcome, Masiko. I think she's going to be a little shocked to find herself like put into the servant class of things. Uh, but like she's so relieved to have found a place where there is survival in this land claimed by ice perhaps perhaps she is even a survivor from our fruit bat tribe and she was swept away by the tropical storm and the tsunamis that ravaged this world as the climate shifted so dramatically and she is just grateful to have a home but she is our very first servant class of niche nichling so this is very interesting welcome masiko uh, let's see if we can survive this Barina attack, please. He's running for it! <gasps> what is- what was- that was so cool! <laughs> the whale blue hole! Oh my gosh, that was so cool! That was kind of like it was raining here, oh my gosh. Uh, well, alright, let's see. Kikar? is not going to waste time. He is going to try to gather what food he can. Meanwhile, Flame is going to be extremely agitated, but he is too weak, not having any of the prehistoric genes, to attack the Baryna and can only watch on in horror as his pregnant mate Honey must fight against this creature who threatens the very nest that they were about to welcome their first child into. Attack! Oh, she did it! Good job, honey! All right, Flame is going to like happily see his mate settled into the nest. Uh, we'll go ahead and let her get a little bit of food. She is relieved. Maybe she's going into labor from all of that battle. That's a lot of food. That's really awesome. Rotha was finally working his way over. Makri, this is why we need to have you- there we go. At least clear a looping path, good grief. <gasps> and we had another baby! Little Taro! And he's got hammer tail! Huzzah! Oh my gosh, what appropriate name, and he's so cute. Congratulations, Rico. Happy, healthy baby boy. B and G immunity. I am so happy. I feel like our tribe is finally beginning to really recover. What is this? What is this? A baby named Green Bean! Why do I always forget to change? Why, why, why do I always forget that I need to be changing the, the name list for these niche links? But what a name for little Green Bean. I kind of want to name her String, like String Bean, and she has a little scorpion tail that looks like a little String Bean. Oh my gosh. Okay. Misko is going to be sent to collect the child uh, if we can find her. Oh, there she is. This is so exciting. Oh my goodness. So now we have another, like, green bean. Her tail. Can you imagine scorpion-tailed phoenixes? <gasps> she also has female peacock tail recessive, bird beak recessive. This will be really cool. We might actually start getting a little bit of a servant class up and going and spreading out the population immensely so that we can start collecting lots of resources and creating our phoenixes. This is going to be awesome. Uh, also, Kira is getting older and she is of age so she may have to abandon her post to attract Makri's attention but we'll try to get him over so that he will have a chance to mate with Rose and with Kira before they pass because they are both sickly and Rose in particular is not going to pass from this world without leaving a legacy she has not forgotten that Phoenix wanted to see her dead and she she may be sickly but that doesn't mean she has nothing to offer the tribe she is saber fanged after all and a powerful fighter. She could have taken out that Barina with one paw. Probably, actually. <laughs> All right, Rico is going to step over. I think she is so thrilled and tickled to have her child. We might even purr at him. We can waste moves like that soon because we have so much food. Rota is probably tickled to pieces to have his child as well. So we'll have him gather up more food. Makri, you need to head over to the girls in just a second. And we are getting ready for Honey to have her baby! Our tribe is actually surviving again! It's so surreal! And we're gonna get little String Bean in this tribe in just a moment. 
Let's do a couple more calls. Since the girls don't have heat body, they cannot actually, uh, they cannot actually clear away the grasses. Let's see if we can attract string bean into the tribe in just a second. And let's see what honey and flames first child born after this pregnant mother just wrestled with a berina will look like. Will it be another phoenix? Or will we have to struggle once more to really make that line establish itself with heat body? <gasps> so close! So not sickly! Avocado! What an adorable little name, but we're definitely naming her Ember. Oh my goodness, we are definitely naming her Ember. I am so grateful she does not have any sickly genes, but I am quite sad that she did not inherit the heat body that we were hoping for. So we're gonna have to continue to work on that very carefully. I can't believe we were so close to heat body. Just three more days on a cold climate and we could have unlocked it. Uh, oh, phooey. Which is, uh, we'll get there eventually. All right, let's see what's going on over here. String bean, come join the tribe. Holy cow, tempeh. I really need to update my name list. <laughs> Tempeh, you would be a anothering, another servant class male with I and A immunity. Uh, come join the tribe. We now have a whole group of servant nichelings, my friends. Let's go ahead and rename Green Bean to String Bean. Wait, is she sickly? Why is she sick? Why is she sick? Interesting. Oh, she must have been near the girls for too long. Okay, we'll have to be careful about that. Rose and Kira are actually ready to have children themselves. So, Makri, you need to, like, hoof it, buddy. Uh, in fact, I don't think Kira... Her job is to kind of stay here, but I think she's going to die soon. So, she is going to run down. And I think Rose doesn't want to be left behind on this, so she's going to run down. We have a whole fleet of servant nichelings now, after all, and uh, they need to start serving. So welcome, little String Bean. I need to rename you. String Bean. She's so cute. Scorpion Tail. That's, a, that's attractive in its own right. The nobles in the Phoenix class can take whatever mate they wish, especially the ones who smell good. Uh, but we're going to get her scooched over. Servants cannot call out for others, I think. And Misko, we're gonna have you... Oh, she's a little older, isn't she? Well, we have female peacock tail. F and A immunity. We've actually unlocked bat wing, ironically enough now. So until we get normal wing, we may actually start putting bat wing in the phoenix line. Um, that would be a little interesting to have phoenix winged bats. But hey, maybe it's kind of just a crossover from the Fruit Bat tribe. So Misko, we might have you have a child? Uh, she does have recessive bird beak. We're gonna have to think about it. We're gonna have to think about it. But all right, so Kira, Rose, the two, uh, the two who would have been tossed aside. In fact, Honey as well as a blind nicheling would have been tossed aside by Phoenix. But will these three be the result of a new rise in our nichelings? A new chance for both the prehistoric genes and heat body to carry on? We will have to see. We will have to see indeed. And welcome to little string bean. Welcome to Misko and welcome to Tempe. I hope we have many other nichelings who will soon start arriving as both new members and our servant class. Uh, and I, I think we will start assigning Ember Batwing. Yeah, we're gonna give Ember Batwing. Until we unlock any other type of wing, the Phoenix line will start carrying Batwing. So that's, that's the way that's gonna be. Interesting. I did not see that twist coming, but I love her little face. Look at her. She's the perfect little ember. Oh my gosh. But all right, this has been amazing. I'm so excited to see where this tribe takes us next time. I am so happy to welcome little Taro. I'm so happy to welcome the others. I really, really need to write down some more fiery names. So if you guys have suggestions, do please leave them in the comments. If you could, do please leave a like for all of the fantastic babies born today. And if you would like to join us in our nicheling pantheon, do please consider subscribing and I will see you next time. Bye guys!